What's up guys, it's Sharky Chilla here again. Sorry I haven't been on for a while. Um, you know, shit happens and yeah, you have to tend to life first. But uh, I'm back here again and I'm here with the worm deck. I have worms part two, the deck edition. Three Worm Queens, Worm Queen pretty much Lone Fire Blossom, but in a powerful form, it also acts like a, pretty much a Monarch, for example. You play it, tribute one Worm, play it, and uh, you know, you can, from there you can do crazy combos. Let's say they bomb this, you can priorities, effect, tribute, all this other good stuff. Three Tentacles, Tentacles is pretty much the beater of the deck. Remove from play one Worm from your graveyard, attack twice, 1700 beater, pretty good. 3x, x pretty much is a foolish burial, um, you play it, send one card from your deck to the graveyard, and yeah, you know, do also crazy combos with that, especially with Queen and this card. 3 Yagen, Yagen works well with X, and when X is on the field, you can get him from the graveyard, put it face down, and when he's attacked, when he's flipped face up, he can bounce a card, so... Worm Cauteros. Worm Cauteros, pretty much when it's flipped face up, you get to search a level 4 lower worm type monster. Pretty much half your deck. Two Apocalypse, flip face up, pop a field or spell card. Worm Solid. Pretty much Worm Solid when he's flipped face up and inflicts battle damage to your opponent by getting attacked when it's in defense mode. He gets to destroy one trap or spell card and he gains 100 defense for each worm type monster in your graveyard. Two victories, it's gonna pop up right here if you don't know what it is. But two victories pretty much just for the OTK combo right now. Future Fusion for the worm victories. Uh, Future Fusion, dump all your your whole worm deck to the graveyard. Let's say you already have this guy on the field, you attack for 9,500. I'll probably show you the combo whenever I get the chance. Four Monster Reborns. Yes, Monster Reborn, you know, Monster Reborn, and Viper's Rebirth pretty much revives any Reptile monster, but it's destroyed at the end phase, so it works pretty well when you're reviving a uh, Queen, and you can do crazy combos with that, just Tribute Queen, and it resets the effect. Three Solidarity. Solidarities is because all they're all Reptiles, and, you know, it's pretty good. In 800 points. True Nade, MSTs. Book. Now for the traps, Alien Brains. Alien Brains is a card where a uh, reptile monster is destroyed by battle. You're able to control, take control of the monster for pretty much the whole duel until it's destroyed. And it's treated as a reptile monster. So let's say to destroy your, your Cauteros, you get the search. Take their, let's say Stardust, it turns into a reptile. And let's say you have, um, this is like situational, Solidarity. It gains us. It gains an 800 point, and at the same time, you like one for not one for you plus two because you jacked their monster, and you got a monster from your deck. Pretty damn good card. Next is offering to the snake deity. It's gonna be right here. Offering to the snake deity is pretty much a Icarus attack, but for worms. Destroy a worm monster. Uh, pop two cards. Mirror force. Tarantula. Oppression. An extra deck is pretty much standard, but you should only run one zero. Well, that's my worm deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please PM me or comment. If you like it, please rate it, thumbs up. And if you want, please subscribe. And that's pretty much it, YouTube. If you have any questions, like I said, please comment or whatever. And uh, if you have any suggestions on the deck, please give them away. Uh, later, YouTube. Peace and more videos to come. Sorry for a long wait. And yeah, thanks, YouTube. Peace.